Lactose intolerant besties, this fairy tale is for you. Yeah, turns out there are fairy tales about the very human urge to eat something that doesn't agree with you. According to writer William Elliot Griffiths, the Dutch loved cheese so much they were willing to eradicate an entire species rather than deal with their upset tummies. I'm Liz, and this is Around the World in 80 Folktales. When the Netherlands began farming cattle, the Dutch suddenly had an influx of cheese into their cuisine. And boy, did everyone go nuts for it. It became the focal point of many meals, and cheese parties were the thing to do! The problem was, the Dutch were eating so much cheese, they began to be plagued by daily nightmares from their indigestion. They had a dilemma. Cut back on their favorite snack, or never sleep soundly again. Well, neither of those options were appealing, so instead the Dutch blamed their problem on something else entirely, goblins. Now, it wasn't a completely far-fetched jump, because goblins did dabble in the art of nightmare making. The females would sneak into your room at night if you were careless enough to leave a hole or a crack unattended. Then she'd sit on your chest, and suddenly, there you were, naked in your high school classroom, trying to remember the answers to a pop quiz and wondering why your teeth keep falling out. It was a young woman named Alida who managed to snatch the red cap of a goblin right off her head, who realized that if they were able to do that en masse, they may be able to get rid of the creatures. You see, a goblin's red hat enabled it to become invisible, making them very hard to catch. The villagers simply had to round up as many goblins as they could overnight and snatch up those red hats, keep them corralled in one place until the sun rose, whereupon they'd be turned to stone. So that's what they did. Alita used the one hat she'd snatched as a bargaining tool to get hundreds of goblins to one site. And the little creatures were caught there until the sun rose. Nothing remained of the goblins but stones, which remain in the Dutch countryside to this day. As for if their cheese nightmares went away? Eh, I wouldn't worry about it. Just help yourself to some more of that Gouda. Let me know in the comments what food you will not give up no matter the bodily consequences. Mine is ice cream. And like and follow for more worldly folktales.